All right, so I was asked this question about biohacking. So in case, uh, you know, you're not aware, biohacking is where you naturally hack into the bio, you know, simple, I'm giving a simple non-Googled definition, simple. You're hacking into your system to achieve peak performance or achieve a desired result. Okay, some examples I'll give you. Examples of biohacking is, you can uh, search this on YouTube, Dana White, uh, uh, you know, UFC, biohacking or health. You'll get where he's following a new protocol where, uh, you know, before he had uh, problems in sleep, he, has, he had cholesterol, he had joints aches and uh, the doctor said he's going to die, plus there was imbalance in his ears. How he managed to cure all this without undergoing surgery. And uh, he follows a very expensive protocol, which uh, they have customized and built like red light therapy, uh, soaking in real ice cold water, then taking in particular heat, then oxygen, compressed oxygen, when he's doing a few minutes walk. Okay, so that is biohacking at a... Hey doggy. I'm not doing anything. Come. He's still wondering. It'll take a few days for him to get friendly with me. Before he used to bark at me. Okay, so that is on the expensive side. If you have like $110,000, okay. But if you don't have that kind of money, then there are cheaper ways. Like for example, uh, one is called bulletproof coffee, where coffee, you know, coffee, black coffee, you, instead of putting sugar and milk and all that, you know, butter, no? Okay, uh, you take butter and you put it in the coffee and you whip it like, you know, there are these devices to make it for me. It'll sound very strange. You'll be like, what the fuck, man? Butter, yuck. And butter is for cooking eggs and uh, uh, it's cholesterol and all that. It's a separate topic, which I'll speak on maybe later. But if you Google search or you do research on bulletproof coffee, what it does is, I've experimented this on my own body and I know the coffee obviously gives you, you know, alertness, but because you put butter, it not, forget the taste of it being creamy. It gives you sustained energy without spiking your sugar, your insulin levels. Because remember, we need energy, right? So the body automatically takes, you know, glucose or, you know, it converts that to energy. But here you're giving fat. Fat is sustained, fat is slow, and fat is good for your health in case you do not know. This cholesterol and all that is, it's its a very big discussion, Google search with other videos, but fat is healthy for you, okay? So I did this protocol for very many years, okay? And I saw results. Initially when I tried, I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, this is stupid. And I was always dismiss it, then I has to come back to it, then I stop, come back, stop, okay? So that is one. The other one is you soak yourself in ice cold water, Wim Hof method, uh, ice cold water. And, you know, this heals you rapidly because, you know, there's because it's cold, blood rushes in all the areas and uh, athletes do that, submersing themselves in ice cold bath. Joe Rogan does that. OK, so there are different ways of biohacking. But now the question is why biohacking may not work for you. There are enough and more people who will tell you biohacking works. But I'll tell you why biohacking will not work for you. And there are key reasons. The first and most, the biggest one is, you are experimenting with biohacking without going to a professional or without going to someone who is qualified to guide you. It is like uh, trying to be a professional boxer watching YouTube versus being trained by some guy in a small gym versus being trained by an Olympic level qualified coach. You see, there are different levels, right? So if you were to go to an Olympic coach who has done this for years and made many people reach the uh, podium, he can definitely guide you. But if you watch YouTube and you read a few articles, can you become a boxer? No. So in the same way, you're not going to a professional. You're just randomly searching stuff on YouTube and then you get these influencers who have affiliate links and who get commission if they sell the products and they'll give you bullshit because they themselves don't try the products. 
they get commission they'll talk good about the product and then these false claims so there's a massive gray market where they sell all these fake bullshit fake advice and fake products that's one you are not going to a professional number two is if you do try something that is working or works out like i told you the bulletproof coffee it's called bulletproof you put butter and but now the question is one is what are you like what have you eaten before and what have you eaten after what is your current health status let's say for example you're busy munching on carbs and junk food and sweets and all that and then you have this coffee and say oh i want to normalize my blood sugar and man you're fooling yourself and if you're fat and bloated and you have massive amounts of fat drinking this is not going to help you at all you might as well just drink black coffee and uh, you know you know uh, what are your objectives what are your goals did you evaluate yourself do you have high cholesterol and you have high cholesterol you eating junk food sweets and you are having more butter it's it does more harm than good man and then the third po- point is what is the duration if you start getting into a diet for one week and stop or you are dieting only or let's say you are not eating food for one hour and rest whole day you are eating is it going to work like fasting that i've been doing intermittent fasting which i never believed and i tried and i failed and i tried and i failed and i had to do for one week and stop and one month and i said this is all bullshit today how is it working for me because i've done it consistently for 3 4 years 3 4 years it was hard at first but i failed many times but if you ask consistently without fail without uh, you know having breaks in between just break in one day two days or whatever i think i've done it for now 2 years 2 years or 3 years and look at the incredible transformation and i did that 11 day no food fast with 24 hours no water how did i achieve that i built the stamina i built the strength i was consistent at it and mind you i did tons of research oh goodness from speaking to people who have actually done it and had experience and healed their cancer and diseases to actually checking out worthwhile channels you know in my 50 worthwhile 50 things about me i've given you jason fong and eckhart uh, no uh, sorry dr eric berg then uh, stan eckberg you know these these doctors a uh, doctor jagadish or some j indian doctor with a beard i watched every video that they came out with every video and uh, i practiced the advice slow but surely first i tried one hour then two hours build up to four hours six hours fasting then slowly i went to eight hours then 12 hours you know my wife also who was not a believer she used to tell me she could not fast more than few hours because it seems acidity would eat into her body and she would be sick and gas and all those problems today my wife does 12 to 12 hours fasting and she has lost i think uh 8 kilos or 9 kilos after having a baby naturally without exercise no exercise so how did that happen so see you need to do it for a period of time number 4 i think number 4 5 number 5 is you need to have a lifestyle change boss you cannot see you are a smoker you are a drinker you are a fast food junkie or you love uh, sugar and sweets uh, you have bad poor sleeping habits uh, you have all these things what results you'll achieve you need to change everything you'll say it's not possible it is possible but it's not a matter of urgency for you ask someone who suddenly has been diagnosed with cancer and uh, ask them have you changed your lifestyle yes or no oh 100% why because they know they don't they will die or they will be hospitalized for the rest of their life so they take it with a sense of urgency so a complete lifestyle change is required others just by doing one small gimmicky thing okay i drank coffee okay see what what are some of the things i have been doing consistently intermittent fasting 
having bath in cold water me and my entire family has from the past 6 years we removed the heater we have bath in cold water then uh, uh, i told you intermittent fasting is then i have cut down drastically on the you know sugary uh, you know liquids before us to have you know 12 6 12 red bulls a day plus coffee plus thick milk and this and that i stopped man i used to eat like uh, no one else's business i still do eat sweets now it's not like before then sleeping i take more naps more often okay i can afford the luxury uh, and you know my weight loss i've shared it with you uh, so there are so many lifestyle changes so many i wish i could do more from yoga to stretching to all that but then again it's you need to do what you can afford to do consistently see i went to the gym when i took the challenge for losing weight and getting the six pack and i got it and i showed it if you had followed me on my facebook or instagram you'd know that i even my youtube i showed six pack i got dry to the bone okay it's not a perfect six pack a little bit of fat down you know below uh, below the abdomen region and the private part there's a thin skin it was not that dry okay i still had to lose some more but i had achieved my wife was shocked from being a guy who could not even see his private part to literally seeing six you know washboard abs so but then when i stopped i stopped going to the gym finished all vanished so if you don't if you're not consistent one is you need to have a lifestyle and second one like how are you so you need to have a complete lifestyle change man you can't uh, keep going back and you have to make a decision and decide i'm never going to go back and one final thing okay one final thing what i i mean are you doing it uh, as a gimmick are you doing it for attention are you doing it to tell yourself you're special there are many people who oh i am into biohacking or oh, i am into this i mean they just want to show that there are some new age modern thinkers right uh, come on man who are you trying to impress who are you trying to fool by talking biohacking by doing some gimmicky stuff it doesn't work that way it's like saying i want to keep fit and uh, i go to the gym and then i eat junk food throughout so you know and it has to be an obsession like me checking my weight every single day every single day i check my weight even though someone doesn't move or it moves or get up morning check my weight today my weight was what uh i think 66 point something so you know i ate a very heavy meal yesterday checked in the morning then it goes back to 64 so every day i'm aware and that is why today because i ate a heavy meal i found out oh water weight okay today i'll eat a little late see how you plan so that is why biohacking may not work for you anyway see end of the day remember i'm not trying to discourage you from trying new things but follow this protocol that i give you check with a professional evaluate your body understand your goals understand why you're doing what you're doing i have a strong enough why stay committed change your lifestyle no take it as a a kind of an obsession and you know if you enjoy the journey in your discipline you and you do it forever you will see results man anyway that's all i can tell you this is up to you you decide whether you feel it's worth it or not okay anyway having said that you guys take care this is me signing off chat and yeah questions mention it down below questions if i know i'll answer if i don't know i tell you i don't know and uh, if you have recommendations please do suggest people read and it always helps you guys take care chat